Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and we're picking up the series a little bit on from the end of the last video. I've been letting the game run on a bit in order to get uh, some more track laid, also to catch up a bit with the building projects. You can see we're now in August, the crops are coming in, I think things are going quite well and what I want to do in this part is try and catch up on some of the outstanding jobs. There's also a few changes I want to do down in this area which I'll explain. But first, I want to say a big thank you for your comments and feedback, especially with relation to signalling, because I must admit, it's not one of my strongest areas, but I, I am getting to grips with it. And I think one of the important aspects now is that now my construction train is going out in this direction. I've, I've actually managed to signal up this area pretty well now in the way it should be done. Because one of the problems you get when you've got construction trains, I mean, I'll give you an example, I've got the problem here. But actually if I turn it off you'll see that what I've had to do is build a length of track past this crossover and what we've I've done is signaled up this track properly so if I show you this if we come back to here you can see this is now a one-way track with the signals laid up but past this point it becomes two-way again and one of the problems with construction trains is that they seem to be able to ignore signals sometimes so even though you've got a, a say a, a, a signal like that that says you can't go that way and sometimes they can get past it and get onto the wrong sections of track which can be a real pain in the neck and the other thing they can also do if you get in a situation like this where they they come down here and you've got a little short sections of track like this what they can do is they somehow are able to move on um, bits of track that haven't been built yet and then that what that does is get them trapped and probably the best way when you're constructing track is to lay all the track first and then get your normal trains running on it so for example if this was a normal map which was flat i would have built all this whole section through here before i ran my first train but of course the problem i got at the moment is that i need the cash so we, we've got to let the train come out here and do his own thing the other thing i've also done is i've put a little cross over here because what i want is for this track track layer to come down on the outside track here and I've done a little bit of cost analysis with respect to whether I should be running um, iron ore directly to the steel mill or whether I should be coming to this area here. And what I've found is that, if I, if I show you up here, is the iron ore is 82, the iron is 184. So iron ore is, say, just over two thirds of the cost, or maybe between half and one third of the cost of iron and if I show you the iron ore processing it takes just over two iron ore to there so there's so coming down to here is marginally more profitable than shipping iron into there so I, what I really want to do is go for this area here now we've got winter coming up so what I want to do is get these guys working on this now and that and then what that will do is get this whole area set up and operational and ready to go hopefully this doesn't take too much steel 60 tons of steel generally i seem to be on top of the steel and the other thing i would like to do is eventually get this component battery up and running so maybe we will build that what are you building you've got just an unfinished conveyor so i think what we might now it's, it's a bit far away plus i'm going to need you for what i'm going to be doing over here now i've been looking at this area and effectively I don't need this biofuel plant now and what I'm worried is this whether this small food factory can now produce enough food so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna get rid of this um, and this hopefully what I'm planning on doing will fit in here because if it doesn't it's gonna be slightly embarrassing I have to be a little bit careful here okay, we're gonna just take this out and um, looks like to lead to the road by accident. That's so what I want to do in here is get a food factory in here. Oh, that was a little bit of pipe work still there. Um, well, you're going to fit in here. You've got to fit in here. Ah, yes. This, what I would like to do is get this food factory in here and if it's going to assign you to the oh no road crew 
Britain. I don't want that, so we get rid of you. And the idea is, is I'll get this food factory in and up and running. And then what I'll probably do then is try and connect this to this small warehouse here. And then the I then what I want to do is ship the surplus food up to here. So what we may need to do is actually increase the food in this area. So if we were um, if I decrease that and increase that. And, and then what I want to do is use this warehouse or technically this um, cargo station here to distribute the food down into this area. And then what I'm hoping is that I'll be able to push the surplus right through to Bridge City because this is a very long supply line here. Now, if you watched the previous video, be aware that I was having a bit few concerns about uh, the gravel production here. And so what I've done is I've put another stone quarry up here. So I've now got one, two, three stone quarries over here feed into here now we're getting a little bit of a, a backlog here but i think we're going to be okay in fact let's just speed the game up a little bit it looks a bit more impressive when the game's running at the highest speed it looks like things are actually happening right so we've now got the food in there and and of course the other thing we've got is there's another quarry just down in here keeping it going as well so what I'm hoping is that, yeah, I mean, we're starting to get a surplus again, which is good because I'm, I had a little bit of an idea over here, and I'm not sure if I can do it. Let's come here. Conveyors. Is that maybe I can... That conveyor's not going to run there. But we got a conveyor link here, and I'm just wondering whether... If I could get a line off of here... Because I'm half thinking about extending my conveyor system out this way. So I can put another aggregate storage out, say, about here. Which will then help with the construction of my city over here. That's the idea. I mean, I'm aware that my conveyor belt system is getting a little bit extended. The other, other area I want to work on is over here. But the moment the food factory and getting this area built is... Probably more important. And I think that is about it. Uh, I mean, I really need another construction office. Now, out in Bridge City, things are moving forward very slowly. We've built this area here. We've been laying this road in here. And so we got our heating plant. I'm still very worried about the fact that I can't get any worth firefighters out here. There's no point building one of these until I've got all the other infrastructure working. So we're going to have to just basically try and get things built the best we can. Now, we've got a distribution office here. Um, what I would like to do here, we've got plenty of cash. I want to buy some dumpers, some big dumpers. Uh, carry 12 tons, one, two, three of those. And what I want to do now is for you to come to. Mm, right, we got gravel there. And um, I've got my gravel yard there. What I want you to do is pick up gravel there and there. Unload there. And um, you're going to go to 90%. And. I don't want you to empty that completely. And um, what I want to do now is get some gravel up into here, so that when I get and um, when I build up this construction office, in fact, when I build this construction office, in fact, I wouldn't mind. I think what we may do is we'll just add you to the expansion contractor. Actually, if we add both of those, he may provide the supplies. Over here, things are going okay, but I can't go any further. I've effectively now reached the limit until I've got this construction office built. And what I want is this construction office to really start maybe pushing things. Um, the other thing I would like to get built over here is this open store. Okay, maybe I'll add this as well. So I think if I can get the open store up here and there... Of course, one of the big problems is going to be concrete and asphalt because there's a limit on how far you can send concrete trucks out. 
So I'm, I'm, another thing I'm thinking of is maybe having a concrete plant out here, which will give me enough concrete to build up this area. I mean, that's the idea anyway. <laughs> so we got this being built. I mean, hopefully the focus will be on this. I mean, this is going quite well, actually. I mean, must admit, my construction industry is getting pretty efficient. What we do need is this train, this construction train to come up here. Now, back on construction trains, one thing I have found from this game is having two construction trains working in the same area can be very painful because they, they, seem, they just seem to ignore signals and do strange things. So if you want to run multiple construction trains, what you need to do is have them both working in clearly defined areas. So like, so I was pushing this track out. I would probably have one working out in this area and one working out in that area. Actually, what's the fuel situation? Down to 640 tons. I think what we can do is just pick off the train again. Okay, just get our train topping up there. Well, a little bit of fuel in here. Okay. I mean, eventually I will probably put some signals here. Although technically this is going to be one block. And I think this is one thing about then having the, if I put the signals back on again, is that one thing you can do now is because you can see the blocks like this area here. I'm, I'm, I'm very reluctant to subdivide this. I'm quite happy with this operating as a great big block because uh, it just keeps everything a bit simple. It's probably the polite way of saying it. So we've got cash flowing in. I certainly wouldn't mind building that. Because I've got this doesn't really go anywhere at the moment. So look at that. So we've got gravel out here now, and it's filling up, which is really great. So what I really need to do now is start working on this area, but I want, I want that food factory built first. So how are you? Wait, I thought I'd... Oh, the food factory road isn't finished yet, is it? Okay, we're going to give you a job. Um, I think what I want is what's be the best thing to build here. I think if you get those two towers in, that's two small jobs that they can do while we're waiting. Oh, we also got medium distribution office. So I want you out here as well. Get that distribution office built because we're going to need to get supplies into this area. Right, let's just see if how every, whether everybody's happy and things are going. Got a block of flats here. Yep. So yep, <laughs> the over twenty ones are growing again. Um, I mean, just want to check the food situation because I'm a little bit worried about whether. I mean, the meat's running in quite well. We got not as much clothes as I'd like. How are we doing over here? Yeah, you're, you're keeping busy. We've got a surplus in here because we're, we're still bringing the crops in. So, um, we've got 112 in there. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot of food. Am I getting, we've got, this one's full. This one's not quite so full. Uh, one thing. I'm not sure of is this guy's are you picking up from this one because mm, you're the one who's effectively um, you're delivering to there I'd be very tempted to add you as a pickup I don't really want to send this these out because um, your job is really to distribute the crops. There, small farm, 
Why are you... Why are you unloading there? Oh yeah, because you're unloading into that area. Because you're meant to be half... That doesn't make sense. Um, so I don't... Why are you taking the stuff to there? You should be loading from there. Um, actually, that's wrong then, isn't it? Um, you should be collecting from there. And um, you... You don't need to do that. So these trucks are pulling the crops and will distribute the crops as and when there's a need. And the job of these vehicles is to just harvest the crop and put them into the various warehouses. Of course, we've got this one over here. So we're going to have a lot of uh, trucks stood around doing nothing, but I don't think there's much we can do about that. Let's just open that up as well so I can get around the map a bit quicker. Yeah, I think that is sorted out. Um, right, this is now built, so um, we're we'll assign you to. Uh, and actually, we're going to put the Volno Road Crew on it as well so they can deliver some of the bits and pieces because they've got dumpers. So they they should be able to deliver some gravel. Yeah, I mean, you've got no right, nothing to build at the moment. As part of me says, can we get some more vehicles in here? Maybe down in this bottom half of the map. Have you harvested through here? Yeah, you have. So, if we add. Put you there. I'm going to sign you to uh, picked up immediately. I just want to speed up the. Uh, I just want to increase the speed of um, vehicles moving through this area. So that's good. This is filling up really nicely. That probably means it's drained all my gravel out of this area over here. Right. Oops. Yep. Um, I mean, we're still holding up. They're still churning the gravel out, which is good. Um, let me just see whether we've got gravel in this area up here. We got our first gravel in. Yep, yeah, starting to get gravel into here. So what we're going to do is move your source to there. I don't think you've got my, any more spaces for vehicles, have you? No. I wonder if I give them... No, they've actually built the first stages of that. What I might be able to do is... You've built the first stages of that. Um, I think what we'll do is... Uh, you got any jobs? We put you there. What you will do is at least get the gravel into this area. It might speed up the production areas. In fact, what I'm going to do is um, okay. No. no road connection. Okay, we've got missing road connection here. Okay. Certainly want you. Um, you can work on that. You can actually do your proper job there. Um, of course, we need this built so we can. No, that's not important. 
Actually, we can assign you that as well. And get that built. And of course, we're going to need to build the kindergarten, the school, and the bus platform. So we can probably put in a few put paths now. Uh, we'll hook you up to there, there, through to there. Probably around that corner there. And push you through here. Like that. And of course, what we can do now is hook these into here. A path along there. Maybe just hook you through to there. Are you on? I think he's on auto detect for footpaths. So, what they should be able to do is start getting out here and putting these footpaths together. And of course, we've got the gravel now, which is closer. Um, back to make keep an eye on my little construction train. I mean, he's pushing through quite well. The, the key is that when he gets here, we've got to make sure he comes down this route into here. And then, what? Once that link, get, once this link is built, what we can do then is start filling in this area here and getting this up and running. That's the idea, anyway. Um, Everybody happy here? Yep. I think the overall happiness is good. It's just... Oh, let me see. How's the food situation? It's good. Clothes is reasonable. I think maybe we can just put that in. Say so winter is coming, so, so, we might, so we might as well build this here. What's this on the corner here? Oh, that's the corner market. I'm not sure I actually need that now. Because we got... What we got here? Okay. Ah, uh, we got football, so... Uh, must have overlooked that, so we'll add that as well. I mean, I'm probably the oil train is draining my money again. And what we're going to do is just send you... Send you back to the depot. How is my economy at the moment? Um, what are we importing? Oil, fabric, chemicals, electronics, steel, iron. I mean, my overall costs are going down. You know, the fabric I'm importing is for my small clothes factory over here, which is making money. Um, iron. The iron is not that much expensive at the moment. Uh, what are we exporting? I mean, overall, we're doing okay. Bitumen, cement, power. I've put some boards back in again over here. Because uh, now the queue is reduced down here. I think exporting a few boards is, is probably worth it. Even if it's not a massive amount. It all adds up. I think that's the key. You can see I've got such a big surplus of boards here anyway. Key factor is I need to keep the uh, prefabs going and the cement and everything else going quite well. I've got, got enough fuel coming in now for things to be working okay. Um, I think the big break will be to get our steel mill going full capacity because then we can get this built. Just make sure, yep, yeah, coal's looking good really made up with this coal mine one single coal mine is literally driving my whole industry here um, how's the crops here we've got we've got plenty of crops at the moment let's get back to here i mean they're literally throwing this up wow it must have meant they're building it a lot quicker than i thought it was going to be and I mean, the 57 tons of steel would be a challenge. I think what we're going to need to do now is just try and let the game catch up a little bit of what I've been asking it to build. 
Although, uh, let me just see. I'm just curious. I keep coming back to this. Okay, so I can I can get that there. My mega. So we've now got to come here. I can. Question is, how do we get through this area here? So, <laughs> my mega conveyor system. Um, okay, if I can, I can pull that back. Actually, if just put, we put a road system in here. We, we could go across the back here. Um, just okay, we're going to use a uh, footpath one here. And then we're going to use a road one here. Across the back here. And then we can come across the back here. With another road one, and then what we'll do is we use a, a no, maybe we can get another road one here, like this across the back, and then we can use a footpath one here, uh, okay we've got a fire, uh, this is my university, come on fire brigade, Here they come. Actually, how many fire engines have you got? I think what we might do is buy an, an extra fire engine here. Um, I mean, we've got the money for it. So I've now got this conveyor out to here. That means I can now push right out here. Now we got this construction yard here and um, um, I mean let's see how far we can push this out see what I wouldn't mind is a a mega construction yard out here uh, construction office oh that'd be really great if I put this out here like that Ooh, I like, I'm liking this. This is where it won't let me build the road. Yes, it will. Okay. Of course, we're going to need a gas station out here. Um. What we're going to need to do is build a, some kind of construction capability out here. Okay. And what we're going to do is put a large aggregate storage. This is where it tells. Oh, no, it's going to let me build it. Um, what we can do is put you out here as well. So we'll uh, put you out there. That means I can take off uh, various bits and pieces should I need it. Like we could put out uh, an asphalt plant and a concrete plant out here. Though we would have to truck the bitumen and the cement out here. So I'm not going to do that. So we'll, we'll leave that for the moment. Um, so we've got this here. And what I wouldn't mind is... Uh, Um, we'll put a small, we're going to need a open store here for the steel bricks and planks actually. I'm quite inclined to, did I get a track through here? No, I don't think it'd be worth putting a track in. Um, so we're just going to, 
like that. Put you on this side. And probably the other thing we'll also need out here is a small warehouse in order to put um, any other odds and ends in we need. So we'll put, actually, we'll put the small warehouse here. So this is going to be the construction yard for my new town over here, or city. So uh, that, oh, that works out quite well. And what we're going to have to do now is... Huh, I've, I've got to do it. Uh, otherwise it's just going to drive me nuts. So, conveyors... That's actually a footpath, isn't it? So the next one has to be a road. Um, I mean, that terrain there is a little bit rough, so if we come through here... And then we'll cross over one game. It it did connect. Okay, let's try this one. Right. So you're now across. And just be on the safe side, we'll just put that in there. Yeah. And somehow we're going to have to get a power line out here as well. I think I can take a power line off of here, should I need it. That was a sink. Yep. So what we're going to need to do is put a series of substations through here as well. Right, before I get into doing that, we're just going to check the, have a quick check around the... Harvest is now finished. I'm really impressed. Look at that November, and we've got all the crops in. This road's been built. Wow. And what I wouldn't mind is to just allocate in. Oops, no. Just allocate that to the oh no, road crew. So that's been built. Um, this is being built. This is finished. So we've now got all this put together. So what I actually need to do now is get my train to come through here and connect it. So I'm very tempted again. We're going into winter, so um, what kind of jobs you've got? I think we're going to give you that first. We'll get built this warehouse. And then it means I can then move the key component storage to here. And we'll just keep pushing things out. Um, right, back to over here. Um, yeah. So if I put in these first, I can. If I put one in. Say about there. That connects up that one. No, ah, it's going to be a bit messy. So if we put in, I'd say another one here. Actually, oops, it comes. But this might put pay to my designs. Um, because it can be quite often difficult to put design things when in the snow and then probably over here we'll put some kind of large distribution hub so that we can run power lines into there okay we got one here of course this is all very much long-term planning uh, Bridge City is more important than this. But at the same time, when I've got spare capacity, I can keep pushing out this area here. And, uh, use the winter to just take a quick look at tech services to see 
I mean, plowing through here isn't particularly that important because there's not much being shipped through here. And the important one is this road here. I really need to keep this road open as much as possible. Right, we've now got this built. Um, right, where's that distribution office? Where are you? Um, what I need now is some covered holes in here. Not covered holes, opened holes in them. Oh, yes. Open holes. I want something that's got quite a lot of carry. That's nine tons. It's nine tons, eight tons, six tons, 14 tons. There we are. So, I'm going to get three of you. And what I need to do now is. Uh, you're being built, aren't you? But that's okay. And um, what we're going to do is 195 tons. We don't need uranium oxide, so that can go. Um, we don't need 234 tons of bores, so that can come down. We don't need 200 tons of bricks either. In fact, we don't really need that amounts of anything. I certainly don't want 300 tons of steel. Uh, reduce the number of bricks down. 123 tons of steel, 77 tons of boards, uh, bricks and prefabs. Prefabs is way too high. Uh, we can take you down to about 127. Let's just increase this up a little bit. Take you down to about 63 tons. Maybe a, a little bit more. If I get them, set them all about 100 tons, and then what we're going to do is come to here and your job is going to be to pick up bricks. Ooh, we're not getting that many bricks anymore. We need to keep an eye on that. Bricks, boards, that. Is it prefabs, isn't it? Uh, just make sure I got that right. Um, and then what we're going to do is unload up here. Get you to unload here for the moment. Your boards, your prefabs, and your bricks, aren't you? I think that's right. I don't want you to drain this area actually. I believe that. Um, and then your job is to unload everything here. Uh, steel. Uh, not steel. Oh, we can put steel in. And bricks. That's wrong then. Okay. Ah, I've messed this up. Okay, let me just. I should have done this a long time ago. Will you bricks out? Um, prefabs out. And where's the one for you? Boards out. Right, and of course I close that window, so we have to go all the way over to here. The distribution office. And boards out. So you're not picking up prefabs, you're picking up prefabs, you're picking up bricks. What these guys will do is start to ship the various items to here. And that means what we can do then is set steel to there, bricks to there, prefabs to there, boards to there. And of course that will also apply to this construction site once it's actually built. And then hopefully that will speed up the overall production process here. Uh, yep, 
We're looking good. We're looking good. I'm happy with this. How's the magic train going? Is he still... Which job are you working on? Not that I don't trust you, but I've had so many times I've had these construction trains going off completely... Okay. He's decided that... He... And again, this is one of the mysteries with the auto. This, where it carries on building and then it suddenly gets to like a junction like this and then it decides that it's not building anything anymore anyway yeah i think it was that little because there was a little set it's this section here anyway i think we're going to get there uh but probably not until the next part so let's just run through and then once we get the steel mill working this is wow these guys are really throwing things up at the moment Oh, if you're working this enthusiastically, what are you working on now? Warehouse, a huge construction site. I think we're going to start work on that as well. Because I really would like to make my own components. Um, I might be jumping ahead a little bit, but I think it would be quite important. Uh, this isn't going quite so quickly. But we'll get there. How's the food situation? You've got no food. Oh, that's... Uh, you've got 29 tons of food in there. Um, and you've got the crops. This is this is the reason why I wanted to build the, the actual uh, big food factory here. Because I don't think this is going to be able to keep up with demand. And, and I want this to effectively, eventually I want virtually all these fields to be supplying food here which can then be distributed. So we're going to have to keep an eye on things at the moment. Well, I think we're okay over here. Again, we've got a bit of a, a crops issue here. Have we gone through? Oh, we've still got some supplies here. I think we're holding up. I say this is always one of the issues in winter, and this is another reason why I really like conveyor belts, because it's the conveyor belts that will really move things around. Con conveyor belts and trains are a lot more important now since the seasons update came out, simply because they're not affected by winter. These trucks. Is that a thought? I've built that supply line out there. This. Aggregate loading. I just had an idea. Um, I'm, I've got, I haven't built that conveyor link yet. I'm just wondering whether I might be able to use this to ship coal as opposed to gravel. Because um, we, well, I mean, we've got our gravel conveyor out to there now. <laughs> My super conveyor. How to connect your whole map up using conveyor belts. Could I do it over here? The problem over here is the power supply. Um, <laughs> let me just think. Since so I'm in full-blown conveyor mode at the moment, if I... Right. Fine. Oh, look, we can get that there. And then I, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, if I put a, say, say we could put a conveyor through there, we could run a coal distribution conveyor all the way to here. But I don't need it. Um, or do I? If I could ship coal, or the, I don't want this town to be too big. No, 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 no. What I could uh, do is, I mean, let me just look at the map. I mean, could I build a, a coal loading yard, say, 
over here. No. I mean, we may need this gravel eventually because my com eventually we may need to send up gravel even further. So, no, <laughs> resist the temptation. I can't see the point of shipping large quantities of coal this way. I can see the advantage of maybe putting a a one of these in this area so that we could then send up coal here to run the heating in this area. Let me just see actually the fun thing I So we got your right I'm pretty sure it's uranium is here. Well, it says I'm right on top of it. Oh there it is. We've got a uranium mine there. And and, and what I'm considering is that what we will build in here is uh, another major manufacturing area. We're certainly going to have a nuclear power station up here. We're also probably going to have some more advanced production in the sense of vehicles and stuff like that. And because we're going to be close to the water, we may be able to push through and no, we can't go through there. But what I'm thinking is that if we can find a, a level area, probably over here, this is quite straight. We might be able to export out through here using ships, but that's a very long time in the future. So um, let me just come back to here. Yeah, so we're getting a little bit of bricks and stuff coming up here. Um, have we got any space in here for vehicles? No. We really need this destruction. Oh, he's finished. He's finished. He's finished. He's finished. Okay. Um, to gravel. Steel. Bricks. Prefabs. Boards. And the big issue is concrete and asphalt. So we're, we're going to have to find some way around that. Buildings without power supply, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, what we're going to do is get some mechanisms in here. Well, the first thing I want in here is an, an excavator. Yeah, a couple of excavators, uh, a couple of bulldozers. And of course, we're going to get, just keep an eye on the money. Uh, dumpers, nice big dumpers. We can carry lots of. Get three dumpers in here as well. Um, open holes again. Okay, a couple of open holes. And we don't worry about the covered holes at the moment. Actually, okay, what can you carry? Can you carry anything? No. Okay. You. You can carry 16 tons and what I wouldn't mind is a uh, needle tower crane. Still worried about this B class tower crane so I think we're putting a couple of tower cranes and oh wow I spent too much money. <laughs> okay I'm in trouble. And what we're going to do is let you assist with that and that because it's this crew here that have got has got the bus isn't it it's only got the one bus so what we may have to do is once i've got some more money i don't go bankrupt <laughs> uh we'll get a couple of buses into this area here yep uh, made a bit of a mistake there I spent way too much money on all those vehicles Anyway, that should speed up the building over there. And I think just to wind the video up, what I'm going to do is we're just going to have a quick run through. That's building up quite nicely. What I should have done is sent some of the dumper trucks from here. How's my track layer? You're still laying track there. 
What's my position with my loan? Right, we've paid off the loan, which is good, because we're going to have to take out another one in order to get our iron train running. So, that is good. And of course, because we're taking bricks from here, we're not going to do it. Whoops, I'm going to need to put some of the seeds and pines through here. That was we're going to run out of logs for our area here. So we're just going to put lots of them down. And how's the food factory? Food factory is coming along. So I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. What I will do is play on a little bit through the winter. See if I can get my money back up again. Uh, it was my own fault, but that's the way it is. I think getting those extra construction vehicles are going to make quite a big difference going forward. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>